Oh, what on earth could be taking them so long? It's late enough in the evening as it is. I would think they would come here right away. How long have I been waiting? Oh, only five minutes. And I'm still a bit early. How very unusual. Oh, well, no matter. Oh, there you are, darling. I've been waiting oh so patiently for you. Tell me, do you have a good reason for asking to meet me so late in the evening? Well, I suppose I shouldn't be saying it like that. After all, I do adore you. Any opportunity I have to spend time with you is welcome. Oh? You wanted to discuss something a bit more serious today? Well, all right. We are in a public place, though, darling. Do you wish to go somewhere more private, since this is such a serious matter? Ah, right. There's no one else around. At least, no one we can see. Yes, here is fine, as long as you're comfortable. What is it you wanted to talk to me about, darling? All right, you went to the doctor. What for? Oh, please don't tell me you're dying. Oh, thank goodness. Of course, I didn't think you were, since I haven't seen your name on the to-die list recently. But still, I get so worried about you. What did you go to the doctor for? Oh... You've been having a bit of a rough patch that hasn't seemed to get better. And when did all of this start, if you don't mind my asking? Really? Well, I can't say it's gone unnoticed, although... Considering how busy you've been, I thought it was just a result of that. My apologies for not realizing, darling. So, you went to the doctor about this, and what did they say? Oh. They diagnosed you with depression. I see. What? Darling, what are you talking about? Why would this make me think any less of you? The only reason I reacted in such a manner is because, well, physical illness or mental illness, I never want you to suffer from either. You are an angel, darling. This doesn't make you any less of an angel. I just... I've always wished to make sure you were never in any kind of pain. Emotional, physical. I didn't want any harm to come to you. Of course, something like this. Sometimes it can't be prevented. There is situational depression, which can be prevented and overcome a bit more easily in some cases, depending on the situation that is causing you to feel that way. And of course there's seasonal affective disorder, which also can't really be prevented, however, you can expect it and prepare for it. Something like this. Sometimes it's just the way you were born and you don't realize until much later in life. I'm very sorry that you have to go through this, darling. No, no. I don't view you any differently, as I said. I don't think less of you, and 
I certainly don't think ill of you because of this. Of course I promise. If you had a heart condition that made you more susceptible to heart attacks, I wouldn't think any less of you. This is no different from that. I... I beg your pardon? Of course I believe you. Why wouldn't I? There are people who think you're faking it for attention? What utter nonsense! This isn't something you just fake. There are some toxic people who do fake illnesses, mental and physical, for attention, but you are not that kind of person. So, of course, I believe you. And believe me, I know acting, good and bad, when I see it. I know you're not lying about this for attention, darling. Besides, even if you were, what purpose would it serve? I give you more than enough attention. Don't you agree? Oh, you can never have too much attention from your partner, darling, don't you think? I don't think of it as stalking. I prefer to think of it as, well, keeping a close eye on you and making certain your name doesn't end up on the to-die list. Oh, hush! Don't judge me for somewhat stalking you. I can't help it. I just love you so much. And no matter what, that isn't going to change. What? Surely you can't be serious, darling. Others haven't taken the news so well? They think you're being dramatic? Darling, darling, I am the queen of drama. I know it when I see it. Being diagnosed with depression is not being dramatic. Self-diagnosing yourself without doing any research or getting consulted by a doctor, that is... Well, not always being dramatic, but most times it can be viewed that way. Sometimes it's just straight up being paranoid and not bothering to do any research. Either way, you have a diagnosis from a doctor, a licensed medical provider. You are definitely not being dramatic. Depression is a real illness. Just like diabetes. I don't understand how anyone could think that someone who is diagnosed by a doctor is being dramatic. You wouldn't walk up to someone with cancer and tell them, oh, just walk it off, you're being dramatic, it can't be that bad. They're going to die. You don't tell someone that their illness is just a figment of their imagination. Yours, it's as real as any other. Oh, no, darling. Oh, goodness, what did I say wrong? And how can I make up for it? Oh, please don't cry, darling. Oh. What? You're, you're thanking me and hugging me? Darling, why wouldn't I be understanding about this? Depression is a real illness. And you are 
You are so wise. So very intelligent. You saw that something was wrong. And you consulted a doctor about it. You got diagnosis from them, and now you know how to hopefully stay on the right track to, well, staying well, as well as you can, at least. You have more strength than you know. You said you've been going through a rough patch recently. Believe me, I know what that's like. Some days, you just want to disappear, melt into darkness, and never be heard from again. Some days you even struggle to get out of bed and be you. Anyone who can overcome that, anyone who can finally ignore the stigma around mental illness, especially depression, and go see a doctor about it. You are so much stronger than you know, and you are certainly far stronger than the people who think you're faking it or being dramatic. Let's be honest, they probably only have a few brain cells left, darling. You're certainly smarter than they are as well. Oh, I am quite glad that that put a smile on your face. So, if you don't mind my asking, do you have a plan in place for how you're going to deal with this? Well, with depression, like any illness, there is treatment for it. There's medication, there's counselling, all sorts of other things. What is your plan, if you have one? Ah, you're going back to the doctor to discuss it. Very smart. Very smart indeed, darling. And I hope you realize... I can't offer professional advice when you need it, but... If ever a time comes when you need to vent, or you just need someone to listen to you or hold you, Tell you everything is going to be okay. I am happy to be that person for you. I love you very much, darling. I'll say it a million times if I must. I love you. And I promise I will always be here for you. No matter what illness plagues you. No matter... Even if you were served a death sentence tomorrow... I would stay by your side, and I would never look down upon you or think ill of you. You have my word, darling.'